I think this is a really good slide and it just shows the, the, the normal expected waveform patterns of blood flow as we move through the kidney. Starting in the renal artery, the main renal artery, one of the really important key points here, aside from the velocity, is seeing a sharp upstroke in systole and then an early systolic peak. So I would make an analogy of the Rocky Mountains. So sharp up versus Appalachian, where we have like a rolling hill or maybe the foothills of the Appalachians. So sharp upstroke, early systolic peak, which ultimately gives us a short acceleration time. And then we want ample flow in diastole. This is a, should be a low resistance signal. So the kidney should always be receiving blood in both cardiac cycles and, and not pushing against a lot of resistance. We should see very similar waveforms in the segmental arteries in all poles. So those are the terminal branches of the main renal artery again should have very similar characteristics there. As we move out into the parenchymal arteries, we should see similar characteristics, maybe a slightly lower, more rounded peak systolic, still very low resistance, and that's it's important to note. As if we develop chronic kidney disease, we start to see a lot of resistance to the blood flow, and these signals out here can become high resistant, and that's not, not a good sign.